Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Nina Sperano. Three children are safe and a man is in custody after an armed standoff in Fond du Lac. Officers were called to the home around 415 Tuesday morning. Police say a 28 year old man was running naked in the streets and armed with a knife and barricaded himself and the three children inside a home. One child escaped. After hours of failed negotiations, police say the SWAT team had used an explosive breach to get inside the home and rescue the two remaining children. No one was hurt during the incident. A 46-year-old man is dead after a motorcycle crash in Outagamie County. Investigators say he was driving on Newland Road in the town of Cicero on Monday night when he went into a ditch and was thrown from the motorcycle. He was not wearing a helmet. And it is that time of year again. Does are giving birth to their fawns. As Schwabenon Public Safety is reminding people not to call to have their humane officer remove the baby deer from their property. Instead, they urge you to leave the fawns alone so the mother will come back to them and they can relocate together. It is now time for a check on your weather. Here now is Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Nina, warmer and more humid weather pushing into northeast Wisconsin today after three straight days with highs only in the 60s. To kick off the month of June, temperatures have climbed up into the 70s and you can see even warmer weather off to our north and west where highs are ranging from the lower 80s to the upper 80s. And it's within this warm sector that we're seeing some thunderstorms uh, developing and those storms are going to arrive later on tonight and some of them could be strong to severe across parts of northeast Wisconsin. Tomorrow behind the main batch of thunderstorms, we'll see clouds mixing with some sunshine. Still a chance for a shower or a thunderstorm as we move through the day, but mainly dry. High temperatures will be in the 70s. For your latest news, sports and weather, make sure you download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.